Thank you for signing in. Today we're going to look at a couple of example problems based on what we did in class. So the first example problem we are going to look at is negative 7 minus negative 5. Now when we see subtraction, we want to rewrite it as addition because we know how to do addition. So the first number stays the same. Subtraction changes to addition. This number right here, the second number, changes to its opposite. So the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. Now I have an addition problem, which I know how to do. Negative 5, or I'm sorry, negative 7 plus 5. The signs are different, so I subtract. 7 minus 5 equals 2. The sign on the greater absolute value is negative, so the answer is negative 2. Our second example problem is negative 94 minus negative 68. So again, we're going to rewrite it as addition. The first number stays the same. Change the subtraction to addition, and this number changes to its opposite. So the opposite of negative 68 is positive 68. These signs are different, so I'm going to subtract 94 minus 68. That equals 26. Now the greater absolute value is 94, and that's the negative number, so the answer is negative 26. All right, just a couple more. We're going to look at one that's a little different. We have negative 6 minus 8 minus 12. Now this is different because there's three numbers, but that's okay. We just change both subtraction problems to addition. So the first number stays the same. I'm going to change the subtraction to addition, and since I do that, I have to make sure I change 8 to its opposite. The opposite of 8 is negative 8. I change this subtraction to addition as well, and since I change this subtraction, I also have to change 12 to its opposite. The opposite of 12 is negative 12. Now, 6 and 8, I'm sorry, negative 6 and negative 8 have the same sign, so I add them. 6 plus 8 is 14. Since the sign on the add-ins is negative, the sign on the answer is going to be negative. So I have negative 14 plus negative 12. Again, they're both negative, the signs are the same, so I add them. 14 plus 12 is 26. Since the signs on the add-ins are both negative, the answer will be negative 26. One last problem. We're going to do negative 8 minus negative 4 minus 5. So again, we have three numbers here. We just do the same thing. Every subtraction problem becomes an addition problem. So we have negative 8. Change the subtraction to addition. This number changes to its opposite. So the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. This changes to addition, and this number changes to the opposite. The opposite of positive 5 is negative 5. Okay, now I'm going to rewrite it so the, sign, the numbers with the signs that are the same are together. These two have the same sign, so I add them. 8 plus 5 is 13. Both the add-ins are negative, so the answer is going to be negative. Negative 13 plus 4. These numbers have different signs, so I'm going to subtract the absolute values. 13 minus 4 is 9. So the answer is 9, and since the greater absolute value is 13, I'm going to take the sign from that number. The answer is negative 9.